It's almost 2026. If you're not building AI agents, you're honestly falling behind. It's never been easier. Marvin, how many agents have you built? A couple hundred. What's the one thing you want people to know? Oh, that every single person out there can build an AI agent today. All right, let's show them. We're gonna build two AI agents in the next 10 minutes that save you probably around five hours back in your week. Awesome, do you wanna start? Absolutely. All right. All right, get out of here. <laughs> Let's build our first agent together. I'm gonna to show you a stupid easy example so we can walk through the Lindy platform in under two minutes. But remember, the sky truly is the limit. So once you log in, you will see this text box, which you can simply describe your ideas and turn them into agents, just like this. So if I wanna email inbox manager, I could say something like, can you build me an email inbox manager for every time I receive a Gmail? It's first going to get labeled between FYI, which is just if it's referencing me about something, action required if I need to do something, and waiting for if I'm waiting for someone else to do something. And then lastly, the fourth classification is if ever some sort of spam promotion or notification that I never need to see, please just move that to my junk folder. All right, let's hit go. So you can see, I quite literally just rambled my ideas into Lindy of what I want my email inbox manager to be. And I can already click here and get my agent. Now Lindy is going to start building my agent on the side. So I'm gonna wait just about five to 10 seconds. Now our agents appeared on our floater on the right hand side, which is where you can visually see the configuration. If I wanna run my agent, all I have to do is click test in the top right and I can run any tests. And once I feel good about the output, I can go ahead and click deploy. Now my agent's live, it's active. It's actually actively managing my inbox as we speak. I've been letting my agent run for a little bit. Let's see how it's doing. I can go ahead and head to tasks to see the run history. For example, I have this email asking me to, to file some Brex expense labels. You can see it was properly labeled action required. Now that label is appearing in my inbox. Another quick example is our lunch service was asking me to submit feedback, which of course, honestly, I, I never respond to those. So it correctly assigned it as spam and it just moved it to trash, so I never had to look at, look at it. In this email, it looks like a notification for an event that I own, someone accepted, so it's just letting me know FYI, which is perfect. All these classifications look great. I'm excited about my agent and my, for my inbox to be clean. Now, let me quickly show you how the agent works so you can make any adjustments if you need to. Every agent is composed of two basic building blocks, triggers and actions. Triggers let our agent know when to wake up, and actions are the steps that actually do the work. So in this case, our agent wakes up anytime I receive a Gmail, just like this. If you want to manually adjust the behavior of your agent, you can go ahead and click on the agent step in your flow editor. And on the right hand side, you'll see all your configurations options. And so most importantly, this prompt at the top are the natural language instructions that the agent's following when it's labeling and setting the junk. So you can imagine adjusting these rules and adding to direct different behavior. You know, I could go more in depth here, but I'm gonna hand it off to Marvin because he's gonna show this and a lot more in the next agent build. So you learned how to use agent builder. Great. Now, in order to really understand what's going on behind the scenes and configure your agent, you probably want to know how to build one from scratch yourself. So let's do just that. We're going to build an agent that helps you learn about AI in a really fast and simple way by scraping Reddit and then sending you a weekly learning guide for you to consume. I'm going to click on new agent top right and start from scratch. So I want this agent to wake up every single week. In order to do that, we can use a recurring trigger. So let's search for that. Recurring on a recurring schedule. Great. Now this trigger can be configured by natural language. You can simply type in something like every week on Monday, 9 a.m. Perfect, that's when our agent will wake up for us. Now the next step is for my agent actually to go ahead and scrape Reddit, um, do some research, and then create a report for me, right? So I'm going to use an agent step for that. An agent step is kind of special. It allows you to have the agent take a bunch of decisions, um, go down rabbit, rabbit holes if it thinks it's uh, valuable, and also use tools on your behalf. One of the core fields inside of an agent step is the prompt field. And I've actually prepared one of those prompts for us right here. I've named this a weekly LLM learning agent. And I'm go actually going to rename that agent as well. 
awesome. Now this agent is supposed to scrape subreddits, um, select one of the most valuable ones we can learn from, then synthesize everything into learnings, use perplexity in order to do some further research and fact check information, and then create a one pager in order for us to receive that via email afterwards. Now, one of the last steps is to actually update memory, which is a bit more advanced, but it's really easy to use. So let's go one by step. First, we want our agent to scrape Reddit. We need skills for that. So let's add a skill right here. I'm going to use the scrape creator skill for that. And we have a bunch we want to use in here. So get Reddit post comments, get subreddit posts, as well as search Reddit. These are the three Reddit specifically I want to use for this agent. Now, I also mentioned that I want my agent to fact check some information. So let's add perplexity to the mix. Perplexity. And I'm going to use search perplexity for this one. And I actually prompted it to use a specific perplexity model um, to get better results. So now pro. Now the last skill I want to add is memory management. Now, if you go back to settings for a second, you'll see that we have a memory section. And if I hover over it, it kind of explains it, right? Memories are evolving details agent learns and retains across threads, right? So if you want your agent to remember something on each, of, on each and every one, uh, that is a very helpful feature we have inside of Lindy. But your agent can actually manage memories itself if you give it the tool to do so. So let's do that. I'm going to click this little plus icon next to skills and then go to buy Lindy. Click on Lindy utilities and you should be able to find modify agent memory. And we're done. Just like that, we have an agent doing research for us and learning as it goes. Now, the last thing I want my agent to actually do is send, my, send an email to myself. And there are a couple of ways in order to continue building here. You can just click here and add a new step, but you can also add an exit condition because in both cases, yeah, you'll have to. The exit condition kind of tells the agent when to stop doing work, right? So we defined the goal inside of the main prompt already. That means that we can keep it fairly general for the exit condition, right? We're just saying exit once the task is complete. If you didn't define the task inside of the prompt, you probably want to be more specific in here. All right, so let's add a step, perform an action, click on buy Lindy, choose the Lindy mail, to send an email to ourselves. Now, Lindy already knows our email from, from the signup, so we can skip that. And I've actually prepared a prompt for the body as well. So let's turn this to prompt AI, uh, search for the prompt I have prepared and paste it in. You could now go ahead and like give it a specific prompt for the subject line. I'm gonna say weekly AI learning brief. And then maybe give it a date. Let's turn the sky on and see what happens. We're going to click on test and just like that our agent goes ahead wakes up and scrapes a bunch of subreddits now inside of the prompt i actually defined what subreddits to scrape so it's scraping exactly these three prompt engineering open ai and anthropic obviously you could add more to the prompt itself if you wanted to and now it's modifying the memory right it's searching reddit trying to find something interesting. 
And now it's looking for more information using perplexity. Great. Looks like our learning guide is ready to be sent. It's giving me even examples on how to prompt. Really cool. And now it's sending the email. Awesome. And there we have it, our weekly AI learning brief, right? It scraped, read it for us. It fact-checked some of the information using perplexity. And now it's really easy for us to learn about AI and prompting on a weekly basis. It even gave me source links to go deeper if I wanted to. Awesome, now just like that, you learned how to use Agent Builder, you build an agent yourself, and you even learned about prompt layering. Great, great progress. If you want to have access to all of the agents we built today, including their prompts, click the link below. We actually prepared a Notion guide for you guys to download all of the templates.